Bathing a baby for the first time can be stressful and worrying. The video will show how bathing can be a fun experience for baby and parent alike and even make it an opportunity to enhance the baby's development. To enjoy bath time as much as possible, we prefer to choose a time when the baby is relatively alert and not too tired or hungry. It is recommended to get the help of another person while washing. When we wash the baby, it is important to plan and find a safe and convenient place to have the bath and to prepare all necessary equipment ahead of time. It is worth preparing in advance an elevated bath, soap and shampoo, a towel as well as a nappy and after bath clothes. Place the bath in a preheated room, fill it with warm water at a temperature slightly higher than body heat. The temperature can be measured with a special thermometer or with one's elbow to make sure the water is warm and not too hot. Throughout the bathing process, try to keep eye contact with the baby. Try to wrap it and help it keep the limbs close to the center of the body and find just the right touch. Gently undress the baby, paying attention to its reactions. If a baby does not seem calm, light on its side in a relaxing position. A pacifier can be offered if the baby is not relaxed. Make sure to use a firm touch that strokes the entire parts of the baby's body. Once the baby is undressed, wrap the baby in a cloth diaper. This wrapping action soothes the baby and now we gradually lower the baby into the water. Lower the baby in the water slowly and gradually so the body can feel the water. Don't worry if its ears get wet. Hold the baby in one hand in a way that supports the neck and head, holding our fingers around the baby's arm in a safe and secure manner. That way the other hand will be free to wash the baby. Allow it to get used to the temperature. This will give it a sense of security and calm. At this point we gradually remove the cloth diaper. Let's start by washing the head and neck with a very small amount of soap and rinsing. We will then wash the face gradually without sharp and fast movements. Gradually move to the body. We can also take care to clean between the folds of the skin. The baby can feel safe and relaxed. The bathtub can be used as a clear border and we encourage the baby to touch the bath walls with its feet. Movement of the pelvis and back will allow the baby to practice movements that will be useful in the future. The baby should be allowed free movement of the feet in the water. Floating on the stomach can be pleasant to the baby and is an opportunity for him to strengthen the baby muscles. At this stage, the baby may be tired. After finishing the bath, remove the baby in a safe motion straight into the towel and gradually dry. The more experience you get of bathing the baby, the more enjoyable it will be for the parent and baby. If you have any questions about bathing or baby care, you can contact your child's development, pediatrician or Tipat Khalav.